Well, if you were watching the Democratic convention last night, odds are the big thing that you were talking about today was First Lady Michelle Obama and her speech last night being heralded as a potentially history-making moment, certainly a highlight of the convention so far, or to my mind, the best speech that we've seen through the conventions, including the Republican convention last week. Now, to break down the significance of the First Lady's speech and more, I'm joined tonight by our panelist, Dominic Carter. He, of course, political journalist and author. And welcome Tara Dowdell, Democratic political strategist and former aide to New Jersey Governor Jim McGregor. Grevy, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. So how good was Michelle, that's a loaded question, but how good was Michelle Obama last night and her speech? I thought Michelle Obama was pitch perfect. She touched on the three Ps. She was poignant, she was personal, and she was passionate. And actually I threw a fourth P in there. She was persuasive. And that's what the president really needed. He needed someone, and I think she actually made his case better than he has made his own case. And I think that came through last night, and I think that's why you're hearing all the accolades. And they're pretty consistent across the board. You know, let me put it this way. I agree with everything Tara said, but let me let me uh, put it this way. I've watched her on the stump, Michelle Obama. I remember back in Nevada, I was covering her at something when she was campaigning for then Senator Obama. And one of the best kept secrets is that, you know, folks don't understand she's very good on the stump. She can deliver a very passionate speech. As you know, Andrew, I thought going back, let's rewind to the Republican convention. Sure. I thought that Ann Romney hit a grand slam. I really did. And I didn't think that the first lady would be able to top that speech. Ann Romney looked good. She made a passionate case for her husband. She humanized Mitt Romney in ways that hadn't been done before. I didn't know if the first lady could match that she did and what the Democrats need to do for the first time for the first time we saw some life out of the Democratic Party last night the speakers were really really good last night it was it was a good night for them you know it's interesting because the first lady's speech it wasn't the the typical campaign speech that, that we're used to and not even from her on the campaign trail it wasn't a sort of hammering the points and 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 trying to rouse people it, it sort of used a different approach yes it used a very effective approach. I think what the First Lady did so well was she didn't yell, she didn't scream, she was not negative, which is also a very good thing. She never once mentioned Romney or Ryan. Mm. She talked about why her husband is the man that should be reelected to that position. She talked about why she loves him and why the nation should share her passion and her enthusiasm for his reelection. And I think that the fact that she didn't go negative because she has to be very careful because she's had the right loves to throw this angry black woman uh, moniker at her, I'm stereotype glad, glad, at her. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> and they do. It's out there. It's, it's, it's out, out there. there. It's angry out there. I mean, you can rap. you can Google it. So it's, it's, it's certainly, it's sadly, and, and a lot of hits come up under it. And so I think she has to also walk a very fine line because that perception has stuck. It's mostly stuck with people on the right, fortunately, but she does have to walk a fine line. And I think she did so very well. And her approval ratings were already high, and I suspect they're probably quite high now. I want to read a couple of the reactions that we got on Twitter from some of our viewers last night. We'll start with Jeffrey uh, Zabe who said she hit it out of the park. She connected with the average person, presented Barack as a president of the people. And Lee Evans wrote in, I actually had a few tears in my eyes. It was a culmination of an unforgettable evening. Healthcare and honesty triumphed last night. And, and the connection with the average person and the tear in the eye, that, that's what caught me, my, my eye, my unteary eye, uh, with, with those responses. Because it did seem to connect to people. The question is, who did it connect with and does it move votes? Excellent question. Uh, it connected with the base. And let, if we're going to be honest about this, the president has an enthusiasm problem. Uh, as Reverend Floyd Flake told us last week of Allen uh, AME Church, uh, 20,000 plus members at the church, he, President Obama does have an enthusiasm problem. He's got to rally the base. He's got to rally the left. And Michelle Obama, while connecting with military families and the middle class, she gave the base what they want to hear. And if you look at the cutaways, there were actually a lot of people in tears during the re remarks. That speech, I believe, will go down in history. Maybe they should let her speak again at this convention. It, could, it couldn't hurt. All right, I want to keep this conversation going online. Head it over to our Facebook and our Twitter to sound off on our question tonight. What did you think about Michelle Obama's speech? You saw we read a couple tonight. We can read a couple tomorrow night. When we return, though, we're going to focus in on two themes that seemed to permeate the conversation last night. Health care, now known as Obamacare, 
and gay rights. It's a big shift for the Democratic Party. We're going to get into that and more next. Stay with us. I think she's terrific, and I think she's a wonderful role model, a wonderful mother, a wonderful wife, uh, and is very devoted to her husband, her children, and to moving this country forward.